Uh, good morning, Kip One Primary. Um, this is Mr. Jennings. This is your science class for second and third graders. Um, you guys have been doing so awesome on learning about inheritance traits, and we're going to push on with learning more about it now. In this uh, lesson, you're going to use the knowledge of inheritance traits to determine which traits offspring can ha have. Our big question is still, how do organisms get their traits? Which some of you uh, may have already gotten your answer, but we're going to keep on learning to do our investigations. So we've done our first big question. Our second big question is, how do organisms get their traits? What you're going to be learning more in this lesson. Our scientific vocabulary. Um, organisms. Organisms are living things. Trait is a characteristic. Variations are differences. Species, a similar group of organisms. Inherit, get from your parents. Inherit is a word that we're going to be focused on in this lesson. Inherit means to get from your parent, parents. So you get your traits or your characteristics or your features. Like in your face, you get all of these things from your parents. Environment, what's around you. Genes or DNA, instru instructions uh, for traits. Offspring, offspring are children. This is another word that we're going to be focused on in this lesson. Offspring, offspring simply means children. Reproduction, when parents make children. Family tree, diagram showing a family. Generation, group of offspring. So this might be like your brothers, your cousins. Life cycle, birth, growth, reproduction, or death. And we're not going to worry about these two at the bottom. So, like I said before, we're focused on two of these vocabulary words in here. And that is, uh, they are inherit, which means to get from your parents, and offspring, which are children. So, we're going to move on to our, um, to our PowerPoint. So, inheritance and traits, we've been learning so much about them. We're going to be using what we've been learning to figure out how different organisms inherit different traits. So we have a quick warm up here. Um, a warm up, we're going to have these four numbers and we're going to match them to the four letters and figure out um, if we can figure out if we know our vocabulary words. So it's going to be a quick quiz here. So if you want to put the video on pause right here, put the video on pause. You can try to do it uh, by yourself and I'll go through them with the rest of you guys to show you um, the different answers and make sure we, we got the same answers um, as we go. So we're going to start with the letters. A, A, get from your parents. I want you to think which one of these vocabulary words, offspring, reproduction, inherit, trait. This trait is a mistake. That should say um, species. So if you can like wipe out trait, put it in species because this should say species. Offspring. Um, sorry, get from, these are the four um, vocabulary words. Offspring, reproduction, inherit, trait. Get from your parents goes to number three. This is inherit. When you get it from your parents, when you get those traits from your parents, um, that means to inherit. So A goes to number three. If you got that right, good job. Pat on the back there. Next, B, when parents make children. When parents make children. I want everyone to think about what is that and uh, what number does B go to? Great. It goes to number two, reproduction. When the... Uh, when parents are making children, this is called reproduction. That's how babies are made. C, a similar group of organisms. A similar group of organisms, I'll give you this one. It should go to number four, which should say species, not trait. Forgive Mr. Jennings. And D, children. Children goes to offspring. If you said offspring, totally right. You guys are on the way with our vocabulary words. I can tell that you guys, guys have been um, listening with your listening ears. Big question. How do organisms get their traits? This, this is what we're trying to answer. How do organisms get their traits? What do you want to go into now? So we're going to be learning more about inheritance traits from monster species. So right here, we got different monster species here. They're all monsters, but different species of that monster. Got some purple, blue, green, orange, pink, uh, yellow, all different type of red, all different type of monster. We're going to be figuring out how two of these monsters can reproduce, which is to make children, and how those children, what they're going to look like or what they can look like once they inherit those traits from their parents. So we're going to be learning more about heritage uh, traits from, from monster species, just like I have here. We have parent one. We have the mom. She's green. She has like some sharp teeth, has some butterfly wings, two small horns. Parent number two, he's going to be the dad. 
He's orange. He has large horns. Parent one, parent two. I want you to take a quick look at him. Parent one, parent two, mom, dad. And we're going to be figuring out what is their monster baby going to look like. One of these parents must have the trait for the offspring to have it too. So, for example, the offspring can't have a nose because neither one of the parents have a nose. The parents uh, give the the offspring the um, their traits, and, and the offspring inherit those traits from their parents. So, I know if they had drag the parent, uh, if the offspring had dragon wings, it wouldn't be uh, the mom or the dad's um, child because neither one of their parents have dragon wings so turn and talk what traits do you think the possible offspring of monster one and two have i want you to look at some observable traits remember observable traits are the things that we can see i'm going to give you a quick second you can put the video on pause and think of the different traits that they have and i've already said um said most of them Cool. So you should have like green, orange, long horns, small horns, two legs, two arms, butterfly wings, uh, two eyes with little dots, tail, um, like a um, kind of like a sharp kind of um, triangular tail. So these are the different traits that these two parents have. So we're going to circle all of the possible. Uh, sorry, sorry, I already gave you guys the answer here. So. Um, all these are the all all the possible offspring that these two parents can have. So number one here, this orange child has a um, spiked tail. So I know that this um, couldn't be one of their children because neither one of them have a spiked tail. Number two is green, and uh, it also has long horns, and so it can be green and get the green from the mom and get the long horns from the dad. So this can also be their parent. This one has wings that is green and long horns. When I go to the parent, I can take the green from the mom, the wings from the mom and the horns from the dad. And so that's how I know number three is correct. Number four, just like that, I can take orange from the dad, butterfly wings from the mom, um, long horns from the dad. And so I know that this can be a possible offspring. I can take for number five, I can take the little horns from mom, the green color from dad. And that's how I know that this can be the offspring right here. The orange doesn't have any horns. So it's not having any horns. It cannot be their offspring. So this quickly shows you how um, parents make their children and how the ch children inherit different traits from their parents. And remember, the traits are the things that you see with your eyes. So you can see those long horns, those short horns. So um, we're going to move on. So why are offspring one and six impossible? I want you to take a quick second. Why are one and six impossible? Good, because one has... Um, spiked tail and neither one of the parents have a spiked tail and orange doesn't have horns and both the parents have horns so th these two cannot be the offspring or the children of these two parents now it's your turn we're going to I'll still help you guys as we go along you can put the I'll tell you when to put the video on pause to figure out which part is your part so we have two deers here we have they have like a, a a big bigger shaped head and they have some small antlers antlers a uh, brownish no uh, brownish nose one of the parents is uh dark brown the other one is tan so we'll say parent one is the mom parent two is the dad so parent one the mom has no antlers brown nose a uh, big head and brown fur and the dad parent two has antlers he is ta a tan, a tan color. He has a brownish nose. So I want you to put the video on pause here and think about, well, I'll tell you when to put the video on pause when I say go. And you're going to uh, figure out what are different traits their offspring might have. Get ready. Pause. Cool. So we're back here. We should have your different ideas of what their um, offspring will look like. So. Um, 
circling all of the offspring traits. So big antlers, that's an X on there. They can't have big antlers. They can have small antlers. They can have tan fur from the dad, brown fur from the mom. Ma. Can't be a small head because both the parents have a big head. Both the parents have a brown nose. Can't be a pink nose because the mom or the dad don't have a pink nose. It can be brown and tan, have brand and tan fur. Can get brown from the mom, tan from the dad, and make a brown and tannish fur. And it has to have a large size head. These are the different traits that the offspring should have. If you have these right, great job. We're good to go. So we have our different, um, our different offspring here. Number one. Number one has um, small antlers has brown nose, brown fur. Can this be a offspring of the two parents? Yes, it can be because it has brown fur from the mom, small antlers from the dad. This is good to go. Number two, can number two be a offspring of the mom and dad? No, why not? Great, because it has big antlers. The mom or the dad does not have big antlers. So number two cannot be the offspring of the two parents. Number three, can number three be the offspring of um, the, the mom and the dad? No, why not? Good, because it doesn't have a big head, it has a small size head. So this uh, small size head cannot um, be a trait that it gets from the mom and the dad. You guys are hot right now. Number four. Can number four be the offspring of mom and dad in parent one and two? Yes. Even though it had those brown and tan like dots, it can get brown from the mom and tan from the dad, which made those spots. It also has small antlers, brown nose. Number five. Can number five be a, um, a offspring of the mom and dad? Yes, it was a trick question here. Yes, this offspring can. It's tan like the dad, and it also has small antlers like the dad. So this can be the offspring. And number six, can number six be the uh, an offspring of the mom and the dad? No. Why not? Who, can, who, can, who knows why not? I'll give you a quick second. It's a tougher one. The pink nose. Neither mom... The mom nor the dad have a pink nose, so it cannot be the offspring of these two parents. So this is how offspring inherit different um, features or traits. They get it from the mom and the dad, and that makes us look the way that we look. So why were two, three, and not six, but five, sorry, impossible for, for uh, offspring for parent one and two? We just said them all while they all didn't, uh, while they could or could not be the offspring of the mom and the dad. So I want you to write these things down that we just found out which numbers for the monsters um, could be offspring and which numbers for the deer could be offspring, not six. Six was a mistake. It was five. And that's how we get inheritance traits. See you guys next time. Love you guys. Can't wait to see who do super great, uh, does super great, and can't wait to see who's Kips of the Week next week. Catch you guys later.